Right, hello, and welcome once again to the Geek Lab, and uh, another episode of uh, 3D Create and Print with the 3D printer we are building from Egomos. And uh, last month, you may remember, was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> yeah, uh, mine wouldn't connect at first. Uh, we did find out how to do it, and we did do a tutorial video on this, but it appears that other people have different problems with it uh, as to why it won't connect. And uh, they are having motherboard issues. It seems an entire batch of the motherboard uh, is not correct. And uh, yes, they're trying to sort that out, but it is a bit of a disaster. Anyway, we shall carry on like troopers who believe. Hmm and uh, carry on with the build and uh, hopefully when it's all finished it will work uh, not sure but oh gold knocking the tripod there we go but anyway this is uh, issue number 68 and in this issue 3 3 print apart print head heater block uh 3d modeling step by step and 3d print helping developing countries all right Ooh, gonna have to alter the camera slightly, because that's not quite right. Be right back. Right, 3D print in developing countries. Practical, versatile, affordable, and also empowering. 3D print has much to offer the developing world. To combat the discomfort and lameness caused by jiggers, fleas that burrow under the skin, Kenyan engineering students Roy Ombati and Harris Nguyen came up with a customized 3D printed shoe. The shoes are made from recycled plastic bottles. Cool. There we go. Uh, printers for all. Need it printed? Well, obviously. Uh, medical marvels in the field of medical equipment. Right, on to uh, tutorials. Getting to grips with modifiers. Modeling for model modifiers. Making most of modifiers allows you to create complex forms from simple shapes. In this section, you will lay the groundwork for designing your wearable 3D print. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Another most excellent tutorial. Edit mode with modifiers. There we go. And this uh, month's, well, this week's part, uh, the print head heater block, which I have over here. This little dude came in a bag. Shall fit him later. Um, water supply pipe. Ooh. Right, cow face door stop. No, thank you. Game figures. Uh, prepare for battle with this cool set of fancy tabletop warriors. Hmm. Interesting. Glasses stand. Never used one. Uh, Mount Blanc. The latest in our occasional series on landscape reliefs is the highest mountain in the Alps. Hmm. May have to look printing that one. I like mountains. And next month's, next week's stuff, which I have right here. So, issue number 69. Uh, in this issue, V3 print apart, print head cooling fan, uh, 3D modeling step by step, and making footwear that fits. Customize 3D printed footwear. Haven't we covered something like this before? When was the last time you bought a pair of shoes that really fit? Try on a 3D printed pair for size. Hmm. Okie dokie. Right. Empire State Building Part 1. Hmm. Could be interesting. You will construct the skyscraper from ground upwards. Uh, for the most part, you'll be extruding one section at a time. Make sure that your building doesn't go higher than your print area allows. Hmm. Well, that's what we've got all the scaling stuff for, isn't it? Extruding a high-rise. Now that the base is complete, it's time to tackle the tower. It can actually be completed with just a few extrusions. In this section, you'll be introduced to a new tool, the knife tool. Okay. 
you should now be left with the familiar basic shape of the Empire State Building. See your progress so far on the next part as projects will focus on the very peak of the tower as well as adding a few extra details. Yes, I'm glad to add in a few extra details. That's a bit simple. Alright, the print head cooling fan. Here it is. Ta da! Not the most complex of parts, but I'm sure. Sometimes the parts that seem the simplest are the parts that give us the most grief, so. Right, okay. Uh, what we got here? Drawing pin pot? Nah. Uh, snail note holder? No real use. And snappy box. Snappy box. I'd will to wait to keep screws, nuts, and all the small components neatly together in one place. Okay, and importing into Blender. Learn how to import an ST file into Blender and troubleshoot for hitch free 3D printing. Cool. Right. Next. Here comes number 7. And I keep going all. Will you focus? You. Thank you. Here's number seven tie, and I keep going all James Bond, Bond for some reason. Hello, what's this? What the hell? Uh, replacement build heater plate. We apologize to all our customers, but the build plate's heater supplied and fitted as SU36 and was found to have a shorter lifespan than we hoped after extending Extended testing. To maximize the future life of your printer, we recommend you replace the SU36 build plate heater with the improved parts supplied free on this SU70. The original wire protection coil, 100 and the wire strength in the strip 101, uh, will not be used in the new assembly, and cable ties will be used in different locations. So please follow the instructions below carefully. You may find it uh, useful to refer back to the original assembly guides in issues 34 to 40. Okay, fair enough. Well, fair enough that they've replaced it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah. Fit the new heater. Uh, fit the new cable clamp. I just thought, just trying to see how they've done it this time. It's just a basic wire. Okay. Hmm. More work. Bugger. Okay, well, at least they're correcting their mistakes on this occasion. We'll see what they do with the uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Problems with the motherboards that people are having. So this is issue number 17 again, right? Okay. Uh, what we got? We have a uh, printhead connector board. Ah, 3D modeling step by step on bringing back lost art. That's a good, a good use for it. Okay, we've already seen how museums and archaeologists use 3D print to preserve and restore relics. Here we take a closer look at the digital sleuths who are recreating lost artworks. There we go. Cool. Nice. I'm saying cool a lot today, don't I? Text and Blender. Creating text and Blender is for a print project requires a little know-how to get uh, started. Once mastered, it's an extremely versatile and useful skill to have. You don't say. Right. So you can emboss text onto stuff. <laughs> or put it into stuff. I forgot the name of that one. The mesh modifier. In this section, you will turn a text object into a detailed mesh using a new modifier. You will also use Boolean modifier to create a debossed effect and find out how to put text to practical use. Ah. Stage 9, Vector 3, Print Head Connector Board. So, that goes there, that goes on the top. Ah. Now, as we've already closed the bottom, it, uh, I'm still wondering where the cables connect to. Uh, plug the red do, 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 on the connector board. Okay, where are they going to go to? I don't know. This lightweight futuristic looking glider uh, toy prints in one piece. Does it fly? Designed by Chris Lines as a static little glider, you may need to hand tweak after printing to ensure that it's in top condition, uh, tip top condition for flight. 
To aid lateral stability, Chris suggests bending the wings up slightly so that the tips are higher than the wing roots. Ah, right, it does fly. Okay. May have to test that one. Stackable skip box. You can get them dirt cheap anywhere. Toast extractor. Hmm. I, yeah, hmm. I have had problems with that in the past. Right. Uluru C. Ayers Rock. Ayers Rock. The unmistakable outline of uh, Ayers Rock in Australia is the latest of our landscape reliefs. That one doesn't look so good, so I don't think I'll bother with that one. And... Uh, print head sensor. Uh, I was forgetting how many issues I covered then. I got deflected by the uh, replacing that part, which was a bugger to fit in the first place. Oh well. Right. <sighs> Must cover the cover, shouldn't I? Cover the cover, good idea. In this issue, a print head heat sensor. Uh, 3D modeling step by step and 3D printing and the small business. 3D printing and the small business. Your Vector 3 printer should bring a lot of enjoyment, but it might also make you some money. Here are some ways in which small businesses can exploit 3D print technology. Sell and make. Uh, a fine head for business, New York based 3D printed jewelry designer and male model Lucas Gzuns turned down, uh, turned down time between modeling assignments to his advantage when he started designing jewelry for himself. Hmm. Use an online print supplier marketplace, print your own. Offer expertise. <laughs> right, the Empire State Building, part two. So we're going to put the top on, a little thing, it's, it's, I know it's a tutorial and it advances your ability to use this stuff, but it doesn't look detailed enough for me to uh, bother to print out. No, I think I'll make it, you know, just as a tutorial, but not as a physical model. Right, print head heat, heat sensor. Okay, which is... This little guy. There we go. Alright. Uh, cable spool. Organize your messy cables, wires, string, or odd lengths of rope with this useful tool. No, thank you. Spinning top. Set these industrial looking tops spinning with a simple twist of the fingers and get dizzy watching them. Maybe a few years ago. Uh, dimple planter, brighten up window ledge with a succession of these bright and cheery little plant pots. Hmm. Pivot points. Using pivot points will give you added control over Blender's main movement tools. Grab, move, rotate, and scale. Okay. And next issue is a print head heater. Okay. All right. That's it. Trying to keep some focus. We have that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one, that's the replacement part, I think, yes, that's the replacement for the one they've messed up. That was a horrible piece to fit in the first place, now we're going to replace it, oh joy. Oh well, uh, we'll uh, come back with some of these parts fitted at each stage and show you how it's going. I'll be right back. Right, this is part 68, and uh, all we've got to do for this one is we have to put this bolt onto the shaft to near the bottom, put four grub screws uh, loosely into these holes, and then we threaded this up until it just touched the bearing, pull that back a quarter of a turn, and then tighten this bolt against the main body. So that's that bit done. Let's go on to the next bit. Oh, I have done the modification with the heating wire as well. Uh, not entirely sure about it. It was a pain in the ass to do as it was originally. So we shall see how that goes. But there you go, that's part 68. Time to do part 69. Right, part 69, simple enough. Uh, was just to put the seat, the fan on the heatsink generic fan, so although there's only two screw holes here, there's four on the fan. Uh, so thread these incredibly long 
uh, screws through the holes, through the heatsink, and onto the main block. So that bit, quite simple. On to part 70. Right, uh, issue 70. And uh, this uh, was fitting, first of all, this grey plate uh, to the printhead and then this control board for the printhead and as you can see the fan and the motor are plugged in there looks a bit messy at the moment but hopefully that will tidy up there's also uh, an led here to show when the printhead is active so i imagine this is going to close up close up eventually so on to issue 71 Okay, and part 71 simply involved uh, putting the heat sensor into here, tightening these grub screws, and feeding it onto the uh, controller board here. So that's it for this uh, video uh, for the printer. Uh, with the motherboard issues, uh, please let me know if you uh, suffered from these issues and uh, how your experience with Eagle Moss has been uh, with resolving them if you uh, needed to use their services. Because uh, uh, we're having some people saying that they've contacted them and they've said they'll get back to them and they haven't. So they are now going in uh, England through, uh, oh, what you call them? Ah... Hmm, it's a consumer protection uh, group, uh, so can't remember the name of them now. Oh well, but yes, so if you've had trouble with that motherboard and you've had to deal with Eagle Moss, uh, please let me know what they've said and uh, how good they have been, because we've got various different experiences and we can discuss that in a future video if needs be. So other than that, if you haven't subscribed already, and you like this series then please subscribe uh, more videos from this series in the cards on uh, that side hey. and uh, why not join us on our social media group uh, on Facebook or Twitter uh, links for them are down below so other than that thank you for how much you need to quit being dirty you're a dirty boy <laughs>